Hello. Today we want to consider question two of the Holy Child School, the 2022 mock exams, to be specific, the Comart paper. Okay, so let's start. Now the question is, the sum of two ages of two brothers is 38 years. Four years ago, the age of the elder brother was the square of the younger brother's age. Find their ages. So this is the question. The question is asking us to find their ages. It means we are to find their present ages. Okay. Now, such questions, you have to first do some representations. All right. So we are going to do some representations. Okay. So we have two brothers. You don't know their ages. So let's represent them by some variables of our choice. So let's say um, we let the younger brother's age be equal to x. And then we let the elder brother's age be y. So we are using the x and y to represent their present ages. OK. Now, there's a statement in the question. You say that the sum of their ages is 38. That is, when you sum the two brothers' age, it's going to be 38. So it means that your x plus y, this is going to give you 38. This is going to be your first equation. OK. Now, let's move on with the question. It says that four years ago now in word problem anytime they give you you know these um times four years ago or five years later you have to determine the ages of the people in the question their ages in that times so the question is saying that four years ago so what we are going to do is now four years ago what is the brother's age four years ago what was the younger brother's age you have to determine their ages okay so now four years ago what was the younger brother's age so four years ago we are going to determine the ages of these two people okay so the younger brother's age in that four years ago if today the younger brother is x then four years ago his age is going to be x minus four all right so let's determine the elder brother's age in that same four years ago okay so in that case the elder brother's age in that four years ago that one is going to be y minus 4. Okay, so now we've been able to determine the younger brother's age four years ago and then the elder brother's age four years ago. That is what we are having here. Okay, now the question says that four years ago, the age of the elder brother, so four years ago, the age of the elder brother, that is this y minus 4. So we are going to have the y minus 4. That is four years ago, the age of the elder brother. Now the question is saying that was the square of the younger brother's age. So it means that four years ago, the age of the elder's brother, that is what we have in here, y minus four. It is going to be equal to the younger brother's age being squared. That is x minus four being squared from the question. Let's go through that again. He said four years ago, the age of the elder brother was the square of the younger brother's age. You are not going to use their present ages. You use the their ages in that four years ago to do or to write the relation. Okay, that is why we are having the y minus four being equal to x minus four all squared. So this becomes our second equation. This is our second equation now. We have to solve these two equations simultaneously. The first equation was x 
plus y being equal to 38. This was our first equation. Okay. So from this, what we are going to do is from the first equation, it was a linear equation. So let's straightforward um, make a variable the subject of our choice. So we can say that we um, want to make y the subject. Okay. So from equation one, let's make y the subject. So y is equal to 38 minus x. So you can label this as your equation three. Okay. Now let's substitute this new equation that we have derived from equation one into the second equation. Okay. So whatever that we see um, y in equation two, we substitute the 38 minus x. Is that okay? Okay. So equation two, we have our y here. We are having y here. So we are going to substitute the 38 minus x there. Therefore, we are going to have our 38 minus x, okay, minus 4 being equal to, we have x minus 4 all squared. Now we expand this, okay, and when we expand it, we are going to get x squared minus 8x plus 16. Okay, so this is what we'll be having. We have several ways of expanding that, so take that out. All right, now that we are having the highest exponent of x to be equal to 2. It means that we are having a quadratic equation here. So we have to rearrange this and then we try solving the equation. Okay. So we are having x squared. Let's try grouping like terms. All right. So we are going to have our x squared. Okay. We have minus 8x. On the other side, we have minus x there. So we transpose that and that is going to be plus x. Okay. We have our plus 16. On the other side, we have positive 38. So we are going to have, um, when we transport that, we are going to get minus 38. Okay, we have minus 4 here. When we transport that one to that one, is going to be um, positive 4. Okay, so plus 4. Sorry, here is minus. Okay, when we add that, we equate everything to 0. All right, so it's equal to 0. And when we simplify this further, we are going to get our x squared minus seven x, now plus 16 minus eight plus four, this is going to give us minus 18, all right? And this is equal to zero. So now we are having this quadratic equation, which we have to solve. Okay, so we are now having our x squared minus seven x minus 18 being equal to zero. You can use any method of your choice to solve this, either the quadratic, um, formula or the factorization method or the completion of squares any method that you think is okay for you you can use that all right so let's use the factorization method we are going to have our x squared minus minus 9x we have our plus 2x minus 18 being equal to zero and you know why we are having a minus 9x plus 2x because the coefficient for the x squared is positive one the constant term is also what negative 18 so the positive 1 times negative 18, that is going to give us negative 18. So the two numbers in which when you multiply, you get a negative 18. But when you add, you get the coefficient of the x term, that is a negative 7. And that is minus 9 and then positive 2. So that is why we are having the minus 9 and positive 2 here. Okay, now that we are having these terms, let's take the first two, we factorize. So the first two, our x is common. We pick our common factor as x, we open the bracket, so we are going to be left with x minus 9. We close the bracket, all right, plus we have our 2, which is the common factor. We open our bracket, we are going to get x minus 9 being equal to 0. Okay, so in that case, we are going to have our common factor, which is the x minus 9. Okay, in one bracket, we open another bracket, and we are going to be left with our x plus 2 being equal to 0. Okay, so we take each linear factor, then we equate it to zero, then we solve. So x minus nine is equal to zero. This is going to give us x to be equal to positive nine. And then the other one, we are going to have our x plus two being equal to zero. And we are going to get our x to be equal to negative two. And since we are dealing with ages, it means that our x can't be equal to negative eight. What was x? Our x is representing whose age. Don't forget that the younger brothers age was the x okay so now in that case it means that our x can't be equal to negative two therefore x can't be equal to 
negative 2. So meaning that our x is equal to 9. So it means that the younger brother's age is 9. Therefore, the younger brother's age is 9 years. Now, what about the other brother's age? You don't forget that the sum is equal to 38. That is, yes, x plus y is equal to 38. So if you now know the value for x, it means that you can get your value for y. Therefore, you knowing that your x plus y is equal to 38, your x is 9. So 9 plus y being equal to 38. Therefore, your y is equal to your 38 minus 9. And you're going to get your y to be equal to 29. So this tells you that the other brother's age is 29 years. Okay. So therefore... Is 29. Okay, so this is how we can solve this particular question that is the Holy Child BR 2022 mock exam. That is the core math question number two. All right, thanks for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe. Bye bye.